hyperpyrexia very high fever causes and symptoms hyperpyrexia is another term for a very high fever the medical criterion for hyperpyrexia is when someone is running a body temperature of more than 106.7 degree fahrenheit or 41.5 degree celsius some doctors lower the measure for hyperpyrexia to include anyone with a body temperature of 106.1 degree fahrenheit or 41.1 degree celsius and above fevers including very high fevers are never illnesses in themselves or the causes of illnesses instead they are symptoms of other problems such as an infection or injury viral or bacterial infections cause most fevers however in hyperpyrexia that is not always the case hyperpyrexia is an emergency that needs immediate attention from a medical professional what is hyperpyrexia in hyperpyrexia and most other cases of fever the brain tells the body to raise its baseline temperature above normal the body responds to the brain's messages and raises its temperature to a new baseline this reaction normally happens as a result of an infection or trauma hyperpyrexia differs from hyperthermia a medical term for the uncontrolled rise in body temperature due to excess amounts of body heat generated in hyperthermia the brain is not regulating the rise in temperature the way it does with other fevers rather the body cannot handle the heat from environmental causes and so it overheats cases of heat stroke are due to hyperthermia and not to hyper pyrexia causes of hyperpyrexia usually instances of hyperpyrexia are associated with viral or bacterial infections some other causes include the following intracranial hemorrhage in some cases bleeding in the brain known as intracranial hemorrhage causes hyperpyrexia accidents or other traumas and strokes are the most likely cause of intracranial hemorrhage the bleeding in the brain can affect an area of the brain called the hypothalamus which is responsible for regulating the body's temperature sepsis in rare cases hyperpyrexia may result from sepsis sepsis is a potentially life threatening response to an infection caused by the immune system the overwhelming immune system response gets into the blood which may cause organ damage or failure anesthesia people may experience hyperpyrexia due to a direct side effect of general anesthesia occurring when there is an underlying disease of muscle in this cases a person's temperature rises rapidly while under anesthesia requiring doctors to make adjustments to lower the body's temperature again hyperpyrexia in children kawasaki syndrome or disease is a potential cause of hyperpyrexia especially in children kawasaki syndrome causes inflammation to the medium sized arteries throughout the body one sign of kawasaki disease is high fever which can result in hyperpyrexia if left untreated what are the symptoms symptoms of hyperpyrexia vary from person to person depending on how long the condition lasts and if it is if it worsens 
Early symptoms may include increased thirst, extreme sweating, dizziness, muscle cramps, fatigue and weakness, nausea, lightheadedness. As the high temperature persists or gets worse, the severity of the symptoms can increase this situation can lead to headache, contracted pupils, mild confusion, pale, moist and cool skin, vomiting or upset stomach, decreased urination or inability to urinate. In prolonged periods of a temperature of more than 106.1 degree Fahrenheit, the following symptoms may occur extreme confusion, loss of consciousness, rapid, shallow breathing, dry, hot and red skin, weak first pulse, widened pupils, seizures. It is essential to seek treatment for fevers over 106.1 degree Fahrenheit to help prevent serious long-term complications or death. How is hyperpyrexia diagnosed? Diagnosing hyperpyrexia is done using a thermometer. If the reading is over 106.1 degree Fahrenheit, then the person has the symptoms of hyperpyrexia. Since hyperpyrexia itself is not a diagnosis and only a symptom of a larger problem, finding the underlying cause of the high fever is more important and often more challenging. A doctor will assess the person's physical state and run tests to rule out the more common causes of high fever. This test may include the following blood blood work to check for signs of infection, image studies of the brain to check for intracranial hemorrhage. Further tests will largely depend on any other symptoms the person has.